Have we been talking all week about what? A whale. Uh, yeah, it says fish in the Bible, but I think it probably could have been a whale because <laughs> he was so big. But what was the what was his name? Jonah. Jonah. Nice job, guys. Do you guys like playing hide and seek? Yeah. You do. Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to be caught or do you like to stay hidden? Okay, underneath one of these cups right here, I have a little Jonah. So watch, I'm going to start moving around, and you're going to guess which one little Jonah is in. Can we all No, we're going to do it one time. I have this game back in the classroom. All right, I don't, I don't know which one is in. Do you think he's in this one here if you do? Do you think he's in this one? Raise your hand. Oh, he's not there. Do you think he's in this one here yeah, on the he other is, side? He is. Uh-oh, he's not there. He's hiding. He's hiding. Please sit down, Shay. Thank you. <gasps> there he is. There's little Jonah. Did you know he tried to hide from God? Yeah. You did, because that's what we were talking about. Can we hide from God? No. No, no we can't. Jonah, say hi to Jonah. Hi, hi Jonah. Jonah. He was trying to hide from God because hi. God wanted him to do something very important. He wanted him to go to, where was it? Do you remember? Nineveh. Nineveh. He wanted him to go to Nineveh, right? Did he go? Yeah. No. No, he wanted to go the opposite direction. Do you remember where? On the boat. Tar. Tarsh. Tarshish. Tarshish. Good job, guys. That's where he said, oh, no, I am not going to go to Nineveh. God wanted him to go to Nineveh and tell all of the people there in that city, you're doing a bad choice and not a good job, right? You're doing the wrong things, Riker, right? He does not want, God did not want the friends there in Nineveh to make bad choices. And that's what he wanted Jonah to do, to go and tell the people of Nineveh, you better start listening to God. Any, any way back to Nineveh. What did he do? Go he got on a boat. He got on a boat and he went to Tarshish, right? That's where he was going to go. He went to the dock and he got on that boat. And Jonah went up on the boat. And he went down inside. And what happened? Was he tired? He was kind yeah. of tired, right? So he went to sleep down there, right? And when he got on that boat, what happened to the boat then? Oh, All of a sudden, a big, 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 big storm came up. And the boat was rocking and rolling all over the place. And the sailors on board were very, very frightened. And they thought, oh, my goodness, where's Jonah? He must be the, he must be the reason why this big storm is coming. And they went down inside of the boat to wake him up. There he is sleeping. And they said to Jonah, you pray to your God and you tell him that this storm has to stop. And Jonah said, I know what I have to do. I have to be thrown overboard. And then what happened? What happened when Jonah was thrown oh, overboard? Was the boat still rocking no. all over? No. As soon as Jonah and the sailors pushed him into the ocean, you know what happened? The wind stopped and the waves stopped, but Jonah went down, down, down into the ocean and down, down, down. And there was a big, big, big fish. It was a big fish. And God told that fish, he told that fish, no, not yet. He told that fish. Fish, I want you to find Jonah and I want you to swallow him up. And that's what happened. And how many days, whoops, <laughs> how many days was Jonah in the belly of the big three fish? Days. Three days and three Nine. nights, right? Do you want to see him in here? Yeah. There he is. What did he, like what did he do while he was in there? He prayed, and he told God he was very sorry that he didn't listen to him and go to Nineveh to tell the people to stop making bad choices. So after three days and three nights, guess what God told the fish to do? Spit him out. He told him to, that's right, let's move him over here, spit him out onto the beach. beach. And when he was done, 
after falling into the ocean. Me too. The whale spit him out and he landed on the beach. And he said, I think I better go to Nineveh. That way I can tell the people there that they need to start making better choices. Can you believe that the big fish even listened? Yeah. That the big fish even listened to God? That is so amazing that that's what happened. Do you think it was stinky inside of there? I do. Wow. I think it was too. Let's see how stinky it was. It was so stinky. Do you want to smell how stinky it was? Yeah. <laughs> how stinky was it? Yeah. You want to smell how stinky it was? <laughs> how stinky was it? That's, he's in the belly of the big, big fish. Can you smell? Take a deep breath. You want to smell? No. Do you want to smell? <laughs> You want to smell? This is everything that the big Can I smell it again? That the big fish ate. So of course it's going to be stinky. Can I smell Do you want it again? To smell? Can I smell it again? One more time. Okay. There we go. I will take it I will take it back with me to our classroom, okay? But do you think that do you think that Jonah thought that that was a good idea? No. No. And did God give him another chance? Yeah. Right. And he kept him safe, even though he was in the belly of the big fish. Can we pray about that? All right. Dear God, we are so thankful that we have you to help us make good choices and that you are always with us in case we don't and that you will always forgive us when we ask. And all of your children said, Amen. Amen.